Darlings, it's mummy, Sybil Brunchen. I'm coming to you from the Omaha uh, airport, which um, <laughs> is just darling. Um, you come in the front door, and you're literally, uh, you go to your gate, and you have your security area right here, and look how sweet and small it is. And then look, there's no commuting, uh, you know, two miles to your gate, like in Minneapolis, where the airport is the size of Rhode Island. You simply leave the security area, they check your baggage, they check your, you get your shoes back on, and then look. You're right at your gate, A1, A2, literally right against it. And then if you don't like that, you can come over here. If you have some extra time, look, there's a restaurant. There's a cute little snack bar. Oh, you could buy souvenirs. You could buy Omaha souvenirs. Oh, that green shirt is perfect. Um, so, and then you can come over here. You can get your snacks. And then you get right on the plane because the gates are right there. I mean, talk about efficiency. Of course, you know, the Omaha airport is the size of... Well, Melania Trump's shoe closet. Um, so, you know, you're talking about a very concise area. Uh, look, they just put up the glass walls there when security had to change. Otherwise, you would have just strolled around here, you know, 15 years ago and had not a care in the world. So, but it is wonderful because we're heading to Minneapolis now for work. And Minneapolis' airport, as I said, is the size of uh, Rhode Island. The one drawback with Omaha's airport is that it's miles and miles and miles from downtown Omaha. You drive like 45 minutes to get to the airport, so that's a little bit inconvenient. Um, but once you get in here, I mean, look, a shoe stand right against the security area. So if they scuffed your shoes, you just put them back on, come over and get a nice shoe shine. It's very nice. All right, well, I'm going to get on our... Um, to our gate, which is A4, and uh, that's convenient enough, isn't it? Um, it it's it's going to be an easy day of traveling to Minneapolis. I believe it's only an hour and a half flight, and of course they're putting us in one of those teeny little jets. No entertainment whatsoever. Um, not even phone jacks, which I find very annoying. All right, darlings, well, Mummy will be coming to you live from Minneapolis very shortly.